The people working to fix up this house in a Chicago suburb are not professionals. Their free labor is an act of charity. They call it a labor of love. The house they are restoring is their church's residence. So this is... So this one bedroom, is the master, master bedroom. A pastor used to live here. And we were thinking we could put get some stools here. And Soon, it will be a safe haven for Afghan refugees. Probably a set of bunk beds and one twin bed. There were shears, and we're reusing those. So, so they can get plenty of light. So it's going to be nice. Catherine Mueller and Hilda Carey, two members of the small Mennonite congregation, are the project's leaders. Anybody that knows Hilda and I has heard about this and has been tapped one way or the other. The house has been empty since May 2020. When the fall of Afghanistan hit the front pages, they knew exactly what to do. Why do you feel it is your responsibility to work so hard for these Afghan refugees? We have shelter to offer. It would be such an, an omission on our part not to uh, offer it. I feel that that we will be so blessed to just be a little spot in these people's lives to smile and you know yeah, offer that, something right that they and when they think back at years ahead after hopefully they've resettled in America that oh yeah there were those nice people yes. at that church who, who, who cared about us yeah. one lucky family will call this home but tens of thousands of other Afghan refugees will very soon also need to find a place to stay a challenge at any time, but especially right now during a nationwide shortage of affordable housing. Nathan White of the resettlement agency World Relief is looking for more partnerships like the one he has with Mueller and Kerry. We are so incredibly thankful for community partners like Kathy and Hilda and the ways that they are rallying other people together to be a part of making a difference. Mueller and Kerry are offering the house at no cost besides utilities. World Relief will use it as a transition home for one Afghan family at a time. It will house up to 10 people. So having this house available at very little cost really allows World Relief to have more of a buffer to help families that are newly arriving to the U.S get connected to long-term housing. For now, most Kabul evacuees remain stranded on U.S. military bases. Right now, about 50,000 Afghan refugees are living on eight bases around the U.S. and thousands more are waiting overseas. Many have been living here at Fort McCoy in Wisconsin for more than a month. Everything is fine. It's a big base. We can go around, walk and spend time. Uh, no complaint at all. Their resettlement to U.S. communities delayed because of a measles outbreak and because they have to be medically checked, vaccinated and processed. The housing shortage is also creating delays. Mueller, Kerry and their crew feel the urgency. The only anxiety I feel is that I know they're waiting for us. They're ready. They're ready now and we're not. Thank you guys. But their faith helps them overcome the pressure. They hope to have the house ready in just a few weeks. I'm going to fight myself to not hug these people when I first meet them. Though they have no information yet on the Afghan and family they'll uh, host, they say they already feel love for the newcomers, making room for them in their hearts and in their country.